pandemic not stopping this year's St. Patrick's Day celebrations as it did last year, though they will be watered down a little bit. Certainly a far cry from this scene last March in Corktown, right before the shutdown was announced. And this was post post shutdown Corktown deserted. Nick Monticelli live in Detroit and Nick businesses are hoping for uh, a bounce out of this. I know selfishly my favorite place in your area there, uh, Nemo's, uh, try to patronize that place because I'm worried that it's going to shut down. So give the support where it's needed local, right? <laughs> you know, we've been talking about that almost this entire pandemic is how you can support locally and try to keep these bars and restaurants open. In fact, St. Patty's Day is a major day for places like this. So we're standing here in front of Old Shillelagh. I met my new friends over here. We've got some that are working security, some who are working and some who are actually in line waiting for some green beer this morning. But it's going to be an interesting, interesting day to see what kind of crowds come out given that we're still in this pandemic. January and February traditionally the two slowest months in the uh, hospitality business so you know you get that nice shot in the arm. And that shot in the arm on St. Patrick's Day and the events leading up to it can sometimes bring in an entire months of revenue in just a few days. It pays for a lot of the you know you need a new grill you need this that's kind of like the extra money to help you know get the new equipment when you need it. Not to mention all the food that was tossed. The shutdown happened right before the holiday. We had our corned beef cooked, our cabbage cooked, our you know carrots, our potatoes done, and a lot of that went to waste and we had to throw it away. If you just have your hand sanitizer right here, you'd be safe. You might remember despite the shutdown and stay at home orders, alcoholic ignorance still brought crowds. The question now, what will one year later look like? Restaurants and bars are capped at 50% up to 100 people and they have to close by 11. At Dunleavy's in Allen Park, they would have gone through 20 kegs with standing room only crowds. There will be no standing around. It's if there's no seats available, we're sorry, then we'll have to send you outside and have you wait. All right, back out here live again, talking about Old Shillelagh. You can see what they've done there in the patio area. Tables six feet apart or more, because again, they're trying to utilize every ounce of space that they can. And a word of caution or advice, I say, if you are going to come out here like a couple of these folks are, especially this guy over here. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> <Can't believe it. laughs> pack, pack your patience because it is going to be an interesting day. I'm Do we know what time they're opening their doors guys. this morning? Apparently not. What time do you guys open? What time are we opening? Seven. Half an hour from ah, now. All right. Well, they, they've got a seat. The green blair is already flowing. <laughs> Good All for right, them. Nick Good to see the festive enjoyment. May the luck be with Nick. <laughs> Indeed. With the early birds.